Welcome to Crypto Trust Network, your go-to source for all things crypto. Today we're diving into the latest and most impactful events in the cryptocurrency world. Get ready for a deep dive into the market trends that are shaping the future of digital finance. Yes, I see you are probably seeing the article that's on your screen. BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF surpasses $3 billion in BTC holdings. I will explain why I keep bringing these articles to the forefront because I think they have relevance beyond um, most, of, most people's um, imagination at this point. First things first. First up, a major shockwave in the crypto community. The recent hack of Ripple co-founder Chris Larson, his personal XRP account, resulting in a staggering loss of 213 million XRP. This this news, alongside the revelation of three individuals being charged in connection with last year's colossal, and I mean colossal, humongous, Whatever word you want to use. 400 million FTX hack underscores the persistent challenges of security in the crypto space. Yes, there's been hacks that have been for more, but I still think that's a huge amount. 400 million, almost half a billion. These incidents uh, remind us of the importance of robust security measures in this volatile world of cryptocurrency. So, what do we do to protect ourselves? Hardware wallet, go with the ledger. Uh, they have some great products, you know, do self-custody, learn how to do self-custody. So you have your, you know, have a safe, have a safe place, have your key phrases, everything like that, stored in a proper place. Where and have multiple copies all over the place, you know, of your phrases, things like that, to make sure you can always have access to your crypto assets. And Ledger is your main go to hardware wallet that I believe in. There's many other ones that are out there, like Tangent and other ones that have come up on the market, but I believe Ledger is one of the true olds and greats. So moving on from that, in in uh, corporate news, Polygon Labs, a major player in the blockchain sphere, has announced significant layoffs like uh, the rest of the IT uh, industries, Google laying off people, other companies laying off, uh, UPS is laying off people. I don't know what's going on. While the U.S. economy says that it has added over 315 some thousand um, more uh, jobs. I don't know. But there's been a lot of layoffs that have been going on. I don't know what's going on with this economy. Uh, and there's... <laughs> Other things that are on the horizon that are not a good sign in game. So, uh, yeah. So, they're laying off people. Despite these cuts being described as a part of a strategic move to enhance performance, these decisions send ripples through the industry, reflecting, reflecting the ongoing adjustments companies are making in the evolving crypto landscape. And it's just not the crypto landscape. Everybody's doing this to get their profits up and things like that. Because the first thing they do is lay off people. Right? And of course, if everybody gets anybody gets hired or fired or laid off or whatever you want to call it in the crypto industry, it's always big news. Now let's talk about Bitcoin. For 146 days, Bitcoin has been fluctuating between within 40 to about 45 range it quite hasn't hit 45 it's just below 45 
but it's been there and i believe this pattern is not just a random occurrence it's a reflection of bitcoin's historical trading behaviors that we have seen in the past reminding us of the cryptocurrency's inherent volatility and the importance of strategic patience for the everyday investors you need to be very careful about this yes this space is volatile you need to be aware of it but this is a great 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 opportunity for anybody who's trying to get out of the rat race who's, who's trying to be financially free not financial advice just edu for education purposes and for news so you know just keep that in mind highlighting the performance of other cryptocurrencies we see solana polkadot shiba inu and Polygon each making their unique strides in the market. With Solana leading the pack with about 12% increase over this past week. 12, 12.3, something like that. Uh, the altcoin market continues to show its dynamic and unpredictable nature. So, because we know ups and downs happen. And then, by the way, uh, GTBC, the Grayscale Bitcoin Fund, they have slowed down drastically as well with their uh, BTC uh, Bitcoin that they were selling on Coinbase. So, and then we'll we'll get into that. There's a huge thing that we'll talk about when we talk about the article. Um, the shift towards Web three financial rails is gaining momentum too with the advent of the new bitcoin etf now holding over three percent of the current btc supply three percent in just about three weeks they already have three percent of all of the bitcoin out there we are witnessing a <laughs> i don't know what we're witnessing and, and I think it's a democratization or in the world of crypto, but I'm not sure what I want to call it. Because they could end up in the next, you know, several months by the time the halving comes, they could end up owning, you know, somewhere around 20, 30% of all the Bitcoin that's out there. Just imagine that. And the prices are being suppressed on purpose. They, people who want to keep the prices down are, you know, buying on OTC over the counter as not to uh, get the prices to go up. But eventually, that supply shock, supply and demand, because the supply is going down drastically, that's going to come up. So, keep that in mind. In the altcoin news, keep your eyes on Chili's and Render coins. They're showing promising potentials for significant gains, I believe, indicating uh, an ever evolving and exciting marketplace for the crypto enthusiasts who are trade traders. I'm more of a hodler, but you know, for whatever that's worth. I think if you just buy and hold and do dollar cost average into your different cryptocurrencies, you know, through the bear market, through the downtrends, I think uh, you will do great by the time the bull market rolls around. So, well, what does all this mean for you, the investor, the enthusiast, the crypto explorer? Do your own research. Do your own research. Don't believe me. Don't believe anybody else what they're saying. Make sure you do your own research. Make sure you protect your crypto. Put it in a hardware wallet, like I said. Don't leave a, you know, all your crypto on exchanges. Make sure your dollar cost averaging. Things like that will help you. Make sure you buy the dips. Make sure you sell and take profits when everybody's greedy. Because you don't want to be left holding the bag at the end of the day. 
So I would suggest staying vigilant and embracing the waves and the changes in, in this thrilling digital finance era that we have stepped into. Now let's talk about this article. BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF surpasses 3 billion BTC holdings in about three weeks. In about three weeks. So BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF now holds over $3 billion in BTC. $3 billion with a B. Showcasing significant institutional investments in cryptocurrency. By the way, that's about 40,000 Bitcoin, I believe. BlackRock and ProShares ETFs outpaced Grayscale Bitcoin Trust in daily trading volumes for the first time, marking a shift in investor preference. Of course, because their fees are ridiculous. And people are not dumb. So Grayscale's dominance is waning due to high fees, like I said, and structural changes leading to over 5.8 billion in assets outflows since January 11th. So like I said, about three weeks. Less than that, but yeah. And the tectonic shift in trading volumes that has happened, you know, with the BlackRock's uh, iShares Bitcoin Trust, iBit, and the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy, ETF, and then there's the GBTC, Grayscales. So, the reason why I brought this article, and I'm not going to go through the same old news again, and just I just wanted to read the major points over so you could kind of take a look at this, right? Not a lot of Bitcoin left. I know I have rambled on like before, and I have you know said this before. Not a lot of Bitcoin left, especially with these behemoths, industrial behemoths like BlackRock and uh, uh, Fidelity coming into play. I think they will have you know thirty, forty percent, maybe even by the time this year ends, by the end of the year, the way that they're going. Again, total Bitcoin, 21 million. Five to six million, lost. And then all these Michael Saylors and everybody else who's buying. And then you look at the ETFs, what they've done in three weeks. Over a hundred thousand Bitcoin already gone. They own those. And then everyday people are buying small amounts here and there. That adds up too. Bitcoin havings go up until twenty forty, I believe. But what do you think is gonna happen when the having comes around and all of a sudden there's a splash shock? Not enough Bitcoin. People are calling for Bitcoin to be over 120,000 this year. By the end of this year. I am thinking somewhere around 85, 90,000. By the end of 2025, I'm expecting, I don't know, somewhere around 180, I'd say. This is what my math tells me, but 180, 185 for Bitcoin. And of course, I'm giving you the, you know, the conservative estimates. I think it can go much higher. So keep that in mind. And these altcoins, when they're dipping, I'm buying, are you? There's a lot of people say, oh, I want the prices to go down, prices to go down so I can buy more. Well, the opportunities are here. And before they go away and the Bitcoin having is here and the prices are taken up and you're like, oh my God, what happened? Well, this is what happens. That's what you have to keep in mind. 
not to ramble on again and again, and get your share, start investing, however little. Start dollar cost averaging. Not financial advice, just for educational purposes. Nothing in my videos is. This one or any other. Well, that's all for today at Crypto Trust Network. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more crypto insights, and join us as we navigate the ever-changing tides of cryptocurrency world. Stay informed, stay passionate, and most importantly, stay in trust with us. The Crypto Trust Network.